right there right there is a haunted house that's the last that's the last house we lived in before we moved to the one we went to where the Bigfoots were and what was so bad about that house was um, it had ghosts in it it had ghosts in it it was you know we would see black entities in my daughter's room there was ghost up in the attic I mean the place was just awful you know and it, not to mention one entity or whatever was affecting one of my dogs and you know one of my dogs got violently sick and the vet couldn't do anything for him um, it was such a nasty place the dog was sick we was constantly cleaning up diarrhea and the plumbing didn't work in there and that made it that much worse the dude wouldn't fix anything and and the poor dog we thought he was going to die but then luckily we got that place down there and after probably about three months after we moved there uh you know he started getting better and i believe believe to this day that some ghost had tried to attach to him and was what was causing all the problems he had because once we moved there he was he had been, went right back to absolute normal and it just shows you something special about that place with my dog coming back like he did. Back in late, I might say mid to late 2015, um, I was at my lowest point in life. Um, first time I've been to the doctor in like 20 some years. Um, my legs were de disintegrating. The doctor told me I couldn't walk anymore, that I was going to be stuck at home, you know, taking pill, pills, and, um, but that doctor was retiring, but he was giving me the gloom dooms speech, you know, and, but I didn't let that bother me, <clears throat> so I started going to this other doctor, and he starts doing the same thing, he starts giving me pills, hey, this make you feel better, you know, the pain's a lot worse, you know, but what got me to go to the doctor in the first place was, I had fell down in, in the floor uh, my daughter couldn't get me up my legs had locked up I was laying on the floor scared to death thinking that my legs were gone uh, I turn around I turn around and you know the, the stuff does start helping me don't get me wrong the stuff starts helping but I start forgetting where I'm you know living now I'm forgetting where I'm supposed to be going. You know, I had forgotten how to get home twice. And something just told me then, uh, it's time to go cold turkey on all this medicine, except for vitamin D. I figured I still needed that. But, uh, you know, you look, at, you look at how I started thinking of this way. You look at the way I started thinking about turmeric look at the way I start looking at my children, you know, my, my child, my dogs, you know, you start thinking, you start thinking, you know, you start thinking something's not right. Um, now you're content. It's almost like a, like I tell people, it's a spiritual awakening. You start caring about your family. You want to just spend time with your wife. You want to spend time playing with your dogs outside. You start looking at things in a different way. You start, you know, learning how to self-heal. It was up until that point, you know, life was so good with us. We were happy. We were content. We loved the place we moved to. And then all of a sudden, we come home one night, and there was that X structure. I think the Bigfoots was watching me all this time. I'm out here today, uh, I'm finally, after four years, I'm back out here in my old, pl old place where I used to see these Bigfoots and stuff, and back over this away, um, these are the woods where I captured most of what I captured, um, that's where we used to live back over in there, and, uh, we're not going back over there because, you know, that's private property, but, but anyway, we, uh, what, what was so good about, what was so great about this was, you know, I'm over there one time, 
and this looking at footprints taking pictures of footprints and back this away a good ways back this away I could see him standing out there a uh, 15 foot giant now he was he was back in this area standing I don't know how far back he was but I know I could see him clear I mean a lot of this stuff is growed up here right now but um you know I recorded out here I recorded some of the craziest stuff you know my dog knocked down a Bigfoot a Bigfoot was baby Bigfoot was born in my woods um, there's so much that happened down here that hasn't been documented I mean there was even something really really horrific that happened right just right here but I usually don't want to talk about that but but um you know this place meant a whole lot to us we did not want to leave it you know we wanted to stay here if I had money I would buy all this land right here I would buy all this land because I know how sacred this land is with these Sasquatch and what I'm gonna probably do here in a few minutes is I'm all I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna walk up there because I think I see a few up there now I'm gonna walk up there and see what I can film you know but this is a kind of a special moment to be out here and to know that the first Bigfoot I ever saw I shot right here the first Bigfoot that I ever recorded I filmed right over here the one with the with the fast food bag that's where I filmed that one at but anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and take this camera I'm gonna go up here and see what's still here and hopefully we capture something we can put on this video There's one right there. I'm not sure, but it sure looks like one. Let's see. Hope you out here, my friends. This is the first time I've been out here in, in, in several years. seeing like an orb or something right there blinking there's a white Bigfoot uh, today um, I had thought about you know about parallel dimensions you know about seeing things that might could bleed through in the dimension and uh, you know, it happened. It happened a few years ago when I was uh, at home. You know, at my old place. Uh, I wake up. I wake up and I see my wife. So I'm jumping up trying to get dressed because I think she's there. She's getting ready for work. So I'm thinking I gotta go take her to work. And I get up and I don't see her no more. So I go looking for her and then she's outside. I said, "You remember that, Brenda? When I..." when I kept asking you did you have to work and and I saw you already getting dressed and you were out actually outside with the dogs so remember that yeah and see what we did what we did was I believe I saw her in another I saw her in an alternate reality and I not only did I see her in an alternate reality uh, a few days later I see us living there in an alternate reality and a different landlord and everything so it's just it just tells you if you have the abilities to see in these these other dimensions that this stuff is really possible kind of like fringe well after we had to move you know from the place we were where all the bigfoots were to the middle of town you know you know once we got settled here you know i started um, getting a little depressed because I, I kept, you know, being so used to being out there um, filming those Bigfoots and stuff and now being sitting here, you know, it's almost as if they were calling me, telling me to come find them. And I told my wife, I said, I said, it's getting frustrating because I know they want me to find them, but I don't know where to look. 
And I said, then one day, you know, I'm watching, looking at Facebook, and I see my um, sister-in-law had posted pictures of her at this trail. Well, then I started thinking that might be the best place to go because they, they seemed like in those pictures, they were calling me saying, hey, this is where we're at now. So I decided one day to get in my car and drive to that trail and the rest is history. One of the strangest things that um, has occurred in the last couple years um, that I had almost forgot about, but I'm going to watch the car today, so I definitely remember now what happened. You know, during the time that Men in Black was messing with me, um, I was out here washing my car one day, and I'm going to show you where I went. I was washing it and I was hosing it real I was hosing it really really good right in this area and I saw something shiny right here so I kept washing it and I and it seemed to not come out so I pulled it out it was just round silver um, almost could have been a bug or when I looked it up it said an incendiary device had been placed up and under here and um, you don't know how scary that was, but I tried to hose it off, and when I did, it went down in this drain right here. And, and thank goodness, because if it had still been in on the car, it could have blew out a tire, or even worse. 